This deck is a cross between a street food vendor and a carnival clown because it juggles everything from dinner to the opponent. As you wish, me. For a deck built around causing disruption, its ideal opening play is rather quiet. Round 1 will generally start with Dea and use her skill for both the other character's damage reduction and end phase pyro application. From there, swapping to Fischl and using her skill to summon Oz is best. While this opening does very little main phase damage or disruption, it does start juggling the opponent during end phase. If this deck starts second, which is its preference, then there's a good potential for the opponent to end on the same character that Fischl attacks into, causing Dea's summon to overload, and the next opposing character to be afflicted with Oz's electro damage. This sets up for further potential combat both in the end phase and the main phase via Nahida, since the start of round 2 will usually result in swapping to Nahida to begin getting her skill out. Nahida's primary purpose in this deck is to unleash her burst, which will increase all elemental reaction damage by 1 for 2 rounds. When combined with the deck's end phase overload combos, the damage and disruption begin to stack up significantly. How quickly all of this is done depends on the starting hand. Ideal starting hands will include dice rigging cards like Bestest Travel Companion or Toss Up to ensure that the proper opening is achieved. And the deck's food engine card pieces, the NRE, Chef Mao, and at least one food, ideally Sweet Madame or a cheap one cost healing food, to start the card draw engine. While this deck is disruptive and heavy hitting by end phase, it is generally quiet and more defensive with its food cards by main phase. However, the deck's burst should not be discredited. Both Nahida and Fischl can do significant damage to the opposing team with their bursts. Because the end phase summons juggle the opponent, damage is often spread across the entire opposing team, making them more susceptible to Fischl's burst. Nahida's burst can do significant single target damage and also set up for strong end phase reactions. Dea's burst, while not as often used, can also be dangerous to an opposing team that has been been damaged profusely by the end phase summon combos. An alternative starting hand containing Liu Su and Kaux's arts can also be viable if the goal is to more quickly release Nahida's and Fischl's bursts, but this would come at the cost of a food engine piece in most cases. Overall, the main goal of the deck is to release its disruptive end phase juggle summon combo, its main phase bursts, and use its food cards for a consistent card draw while staying alive during the main phase. And with that being said, let's get into some matches and see how the deck works out. Okay, let's see what we've got with this. Go second. That's going to be mighty annoying. Um, Von Arana is a good keep. Honestly, like, all of this is pretty good, but we need our... Oh, we need our, uh, our card draw engines here. Um, this is probably going to be pretty useful. So let's see if we get something. Now oh, we get energy. Not bad, but probably not what I want either. Likely going to start with Mona, quick swap to him to get Swirl going, and then set up for Freeze. So that's going to be a thing I to be prepared for. We're going to still try to set up for Overload with Fischl and Friends. Um, are going to need to use that, though, for it. Unless we want to convert something. Interesting, they're going for more of a normal attack thing with him. Wolf's Gravestone on her. I do think that Delve instead of, destiny. uh, Skyward, I do think that a Thousand Dreams is better since you are... This only activates once per round, as where a Thousand Dreams uh, reaction damage activates twice per round. So, and you're generally doing reactions anyways. 
Um, they aren't going to immediately get stuff off, which is nice. Let's get it on. But we do have to worry about Wolf's Gravestone coming out, and that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I don't like not necessarily playing Von Arana when they're going to, but in the name of the princess, we'll be up a little bit on energy and set up for some stuff here. I summon thee. Unfortunately, we also, you know, we are going to get hit regardless um, with the swirls into this. Not much that can be done about it. Puts Electro on him. Again, we're not exactly getting our engines here for our food, though. We could theoretically fish will burst, but... What's that gonna do here? It's not gonna really do a huge amount in the long run. It might be better just to yoink the energy immediately for Nahida. If, of course, we get the correct rolls. And we don't really get much that's good, so toss-up is going to be pretty important here. They are going to do this, so they have a bunch of a bunch of stuff to be dealing with. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not too bothered, because if I swap to this... Yeah. Time to broaden the horizons again. I'll just do that. They either have to do a skill or they're going to have to swap and do something. Or we can just swap around and force that up to be wasted if needed. Or we'll go to Vonorana. They are going to switch to Mona for it. Okay. Um, hmm. Do we want to necessarily give them the three dice? I mean, again, what are they going to really do with it? In this situation, I just don't think they have a whole lot that they can they can do with it. So I'm gonna try to stick to Nahida's stuff. Um, not getting it at all. That is very unfortunate. Okay, an Omni. Not exactly what we want here. Uh, at this point, maybe sack the energy, but really would like to get her burst out more than anything. So, maybe use the energy, sack something like this, or that. It is sad that we have to use the energy on this. Could we theoretically just save that? Because I don't know if I want to take any of their energy, especially Fischl's. So, I might not here. Yeah. This may turn a little I think instead we just set up with this. Normal attack. Yay, they get three. They'll go to there. Well, two of them will go to there if they do nothing. Um, I'm going to put that on her just to help keep her alive. And then just wait it out. Yeah, figured they'd end up doing that as well. So we'll probably be able to kill the Mona here. We do need to get this out. Unfortunately, that will allow them to theoretically start putting stuff onto her. Mm, really wanted that Omni, but this will this will work. We'll have to tune some stuff, but it'll work. Because we can burst here, which is going to start allowing for some crazy end phase business to go down. And we get catalyzed, which is going to make this a lot better. We could also get this on everyone, which wouldn't be bad. But then when are we going to get our uh, burst up? So I feel like this is going to be better in the long run. Coming out. Potential freeze business going on. Crush. Mm-hmm. 
And this is where things are going to start getting interesting because there's Wolf's Gravestone that we've got to start dealing with. This is inevitably going to get tuned, I think. We need to get Oz out. So that's going to be a thing to be concerned with. Mm. That's going to do six. If they have uh, chicken, this could end up doing eight. So I am not going to swap into that for nothing. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. They're probably drawing for it. Swapping to him, that's fine. I will accept that. Um, depends, though, because this will end up doing... If they have... Uh, this, is, this right here is five. So they are probably going for some sort of kill here. Um, actually, that's going to swirl into her, I just realized. That's not actually uh, going after Hehe. It's going after her. I haven't lost yet. Yes, they are going to set up for burst. And the dice off of that. Ow. It gives two. We are set up for bursts. They have bursts, so... Kind of got to see what's going to happen here. I'm probably just going to hold and see. They might have something that lets them attack twice. Doesn't look like it. We end. We can probably burst him down. That's three. Yeah, I think we can end up bursting him down, which is going to be good. Oh, okay. We need to make sure we, we get the, the three for her, because that'll kill. We just then have to survive the Eula. Okay. Getting a lot of that nice Hydra we don't want. They have ten. So we do need someone who can do, like, get some damage there. Um, We have nine here. She's going to be able to kill with this, probably, or a bare minimum freeze. Um, and that's going to kind of push us around. So we do have to let someone die here. Yeah, they know this is coming. If they have, I haven't lost yet. That could be annoying if they have another one. Everything was futile. They have that, which is going to be a massive issue. For mercy. Okay. They also have bursts. Time to get down to business. Hoping they just go for the kill on her. They have gamblers, so that'd be a problem. Normal attack. Okay. They cut me. Committed to memory. Now, depending on what they have here, are they going to go for the burst? Because if we end first, which we probably will, you know, it looks like they probably will go for Freeze burst and we car. win. <laughs> they can't attack again, so we just, we just win to end phase. Ooh, very, very close match here. Really kind of an up-in-the-air match, but very good match. Very close. Okay, looks like we've got ourselves probably some sort of overload OTK going on there. Feeling me uh, um, comboing off of these. Uh, potentially even going her, the, the burst stuff. So you could actually see it combo off of her as well. So this could be an interesting thing to be dealing with here. Oh, we get to go first. Let's see what we get. That's a good start. This stuff is pretty good this can help draw through things as well if we need to um though with the nre there are we necessarily going to need this not really that's mostly to help us get to the nre free swap will work a little better because then we can play and then move i got your boss 
Gonna do that. Eh, not really the rolls we want there. Let's see if we can get something better. Eh, a little better. That's gonna be a bit iffy. It's a bit unfortunate there. Let's get it on! Yeah, they're gonna run a lot of energy and a lot of Electro. Looks like they're gonna go for skill. Maybe they didn't draw as much or roll as much as Electro as they wanted. Or they may just be looking to go for a sort of a fast burst situation. Okay, there's Butter Crab. Uh, maybe we just the threads of your fate lie in my hands. to her. Take this. Ow. Okay, how do we want to deal with this? Because we could end up getting overloaded there. They kept enough that they could theoretically do it. Um, maybe get rid of both of these here. Tune that. I get this on I down. Elemental skill again. So yeah, they are certainly going for a very, uh, a very quick burst off of her. Wonder if they're doing it maybe too early, or maybe they're just setting up for it and they don't plan to actually do it next round. That's also a possibility. Switching to her so they'll get her skill going and then get blasted off of her. I believe in interesting choice there because I don't have many. Uh... Now they've got it, okay. They might have another Electro die, too, if they're planning on using that, but it doesn't look like it. So they are going to try to go for the Overload here, but we get to go first anyway, so that's not too big of a deal for us, since we could technically just swap off. Okay, let's see what we want to be dealing with here. Looks like we've got some stuff for Hee Hee. I don't know about the pyro. We'll keep it just in case. Um, looks like, yeah, it looks like Nahida potential and day up potential there. So we aren't going to stick on her. That would be silly. Time to broaden the horizons again. Let's see what they do here. They could always try to go to Sarah, get her skill out. Drawing for something there. Interesting. Okay, so they're going to try to swap over to that. Okay. Do they have the energy for that to do like an instant burst? Um, because if not, I'm not too concerned. Well, they don't have the dice for it, that's for sure. Uh, so that's an interesting one. Hmm, there's a part of me that would love to be able to do that, but I don't think we're going to get that. Committed to memory. Now, they might have the dice so they have a spare die in hand, but they might also just be letting that go to Lieben. If they do swap to someone else, I might just normal attack with Nahida so that this gets burning and then they get the Electro on them. If they try to, like, swap around things to end up where they want to end up, which is likely her. That might be the... The play there. And just so that it doesn't go to her. Granted, she has Electro, so... Kind of depends on what's up there. Because we could end up getting blasted over here, but then we could... I mean, that's going to do, what, three, and then we could just technically two because of that. I think we'll be fine. And we'll get burning down. 
or we could always just swap. Like, there's there's no big deal with that. Uh, how do we want to play this? She's probably going to get skilled and end up at 6. She's at 6, so who do we want to heal with this? We could always put this onto her. I don't see them having any means of, of lethal necessarily, unless they can somehow do something with a burst here. Uh, potentially. But I don't see that happening. So I think since we will be on her for a moment, I think doing that's the smarter choice there. There's some stuff for bursts. If we get Calx's arts, that could be pretty useful. that. So now she's at two. Very lethal zone for official. This guy's coming out now, so that's good. Lots of pyro. We do need to recast Dea's pyro thing here soon, so that might be the option. Getting some decent rolls here. She is getting elemental skill, as expected. Takes us to official. Fair enough. Um... Do we want to give her the free swap, or do we care? If I do this, there's no free swap. They have to make the swap on their own. If I give them the free swap, though, hmm. Certainly worth considering here. Or do we just go for the, the end phase business? It kind of depends on what are we thinking they're thinking. I'm more worried about her being able to do anything than, well, anything. So I think I'm just not going to give them the free swap. We could also always swap back. Oh, she's going to quick swap. That's fine. They're looking for it anyways. To Yoimiya. That's fine. Normal attack. Okay. We've got healing for a reason. Now if we play this and this get one die back maybe it's enough to Nahida burst which would be very devastating so that could be a choice and we start drawing things as well there's the chicken there's another one there. It's her stuff. Not really what we need, though. We could always just put the pyro there and be ready for a burst, but I do think Nahida's burst is going to be the much bigger thing to work around here. I might get rid of one of the butter crabs for it. Put this on her to keep her up and going. Swapping to Sarah. Okay, it'll give us catalyze, so I'm fine with that. They clearly see what's happening here. The Temple of Wisdom. Huh. I am defeated. They're still gonna take quite a bit of damage to this this happening. And then we can bring Dea out again. The Oimiya comes down, okay, because we are going to get hit with quite a bit of damage, I'm assuming. Uh, so we'll be at six there. I'm not sure if they'll have lethal off of it. They won't have fresh wind, that much is for sure, since they already played their other one. But she'll actually get moved around a little bit, so I guess we don't need to be too concerned. And her skill went up, and I guess burst, but not too concerned on that. We do need to get our pyro back out, though. Ah! And there's five there. Vonorana and Calx's arts can be useful here. Uh, probably want a Dea more than anything, but I'll keep the officials just in case. Electro die, they're gonna try to go for it here. Or they're gonna quick swap on over. Okay. Oh, we could always just burst kill. Nope. They're gonna do that. Preparing for something there. Okay. 
preparing to try to quick swap into something. Now, I could always butter crab here. Or we can just do one of these and not care. Gives us yet another Electro die that we are not needing. I probably won't stay on Nahida, though. Um, well, we have all the Electro in the world. Nah, just in case I don't want to Calxis Arts. I don't think I'm going to stay on Nahida. Time to get down to business. The Pyro here is more important. Here comes the skill for a whopping zero. Now they can quick swap and overload. That's fine, because we can just move around. Or maybe we could have Nahida'd and there's this burst there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, do I want to toss up this? I mean, I only need one, right? They have six. That's going to be... They're going to have three. They aren't going to be able to do a whole lot else, are they? Let's get it on! This comes out even if they burst. Okay, fast action there. I'm fine with that. Normal attack, but there's no pyro on it. Um, God, I want a pyro again. Or just burst. I could just convert everything and try to go for the burst. Let's let's find out here. Let's see let's see how old Daya does it. Doesn't do it well with the dice rolls, but I don't think at this point Vonaron is gonna happen. I don't think Calx's arts is gonna happen. So and I don't think we're gonna have enough of a round for a pizza. So I think this is it here. So now it's a matter of, do they have I haven't lost yet? They have that. And this comes in for five, so they'll heal back the seven. They'll still take a hefty amount. There's two. The one, and there's lethal. There we go. Good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Gonna be some vaporized shenanigans, potentially pushing people around. Not gonna really be able to deal with a whole lot of uh, summon stuff. I mean, I don't have send off to do it anyways, but even if you did, this would be annoying. Um, Interesting. So they're probably going to try to swirl some stuff into maybe like Day of Burst. Um, these would be nice because of that. But at the same time, I do think we need to get our car draw engines out here. That helps a little bit. It's not perfect, but it helps. Get down to business. Double Dea here. Okay, looks like we will be able to get Dea's stuff off. Uh, let's see if we can get some Electro. Uh, I guess we'll have to use that. Um, no big deal, I suppose. Unless we want to just go for Nahida and go for the Burning. Uh, might be a better use of Dice. I don't know if I want to do that either. We'll kind of see what they do. Just normal attacking. Okay, so they are apparently going to go for bursts here. Interesting choice. Um, they're going to set up for that and then some shenanigans there. I guess we're just going to go for Nahida here. Again. And then get him down. Let's get it on! Yeah, looks like they are going for a burst setup. They probably won't stay on. Okay. Unless they've got free swap. Or the arcane card. The arcane card, okay. So they are going to probably swap to someone like Mona. Or. 
interesting choice. They'll eventually swap to Mona, is what this is telling me. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Ow. They're gonna get hit with the piercing there. We have double burning. We are gonna need to swap the Fischl to get Oz out. Uh, huh. If, again, the dice play nicely, we might use more hee hee, so I might just stick with that. Okay, it looks like we can do both here. And we do have a decent amount of food. They're gonna push us into her, which is nice. So now I don't have to swap, thanks. Um, that will be helpful. Um, giving them extra dice probably won't. I don't really like that idea, but we kind of don't have a choice in the matter. By royal decree. I mean, it's going to be random dice, so depending on what they have for tuning or dice rigging, it might not matter that much. Assuming they have anything even right now. Switching to Mona. Okay. Um, so they are going to try to go for that. Huh. I am just going to swap back to her. Again. Even a normal attack will trigger this. Let me scrub. Elemental skill, yeah, that's going to come in and be a bit of a nuisance. But we do have this on two people, so that's pretty good. Vonorana, interesting. I'm surprised they didn't have something like Lieben, considering they were also running parametric. Okay, they are going to try to go for some sort of... Um, let's see what they're going to try to do here. Uh, hmm. How do we want to play this? We could play the pizza onto her and then swap. That way, when she takes all of the damage, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, granted, they are going to get overloaded back to Mona. So, actually, maybe I don't. Because this is going to do some damage here. Um, but I do think that we will be, we will be fine. This trawls us that, which is nice. Um, hmm. I'm going to put this on her just to keep her somewhat in the game here. Ouch. Ouch. We heal back to five. Now, I guess they could just quick swap off of Mona. Probably going for her. But she is pretty low, so. And they do have to do six, so. And they are in a interesting spot with that. <sighs> Could go for more Dea. We're just going to kind of see what they give me with this. Looks like Major Dendro here, if Nahida survives. And that could be a big if here. Okay, are they going to go for fast action burst? It looks like they might. They are. Ow. Okay. How do I want to play this? I still think that might be a good thing. Um, we can shield up here. And then just... Huh. I don't think we're going to need all of this, actually. Because I think we are just going to burst. I feel like our burst is going to be more valuable in the long run. So... The Temple of Wisdom! 
use that there, these can start doing some big damage. Maybe swap over to her. Putting heal on her. Probably gonna try to skill. Mm, not gonna skill. Okay. Interesting. Well, in that case, this is gonna give us burning and then overload. It might straight up just kill boss. her. So that could be useful here. Um. What do I want to probably get rid of one of these for it? And then there's four right there. Buckle up. So that's a pretty hefty amount coming in. Uh huh. And that is activated here. Um, hmm. So we could, in theory, go straight to Fischl. And then when they try to push us, or if they try to push us, we can just burst. I feel like that's going to be the smarter choice here. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. And then who do we need to worry about taking the damage? Probably her, but this could be a free die, potentially. Um, but we can also do this, too. Um, because this will do one, but it won't actually do anything. It'll do more to her than anything. So I'm just going to put that there. Okay. And she's dead. They are going to have a lot of dice. But we're threatening some pretty big damage there. We've got Butter Crab for, like, Swirl Defense potentially, too. Mm, how do we want to do this? Maybe just get ready for her, since Fischl will get booped, or very likely to. Probably don't need Nahida all that much. Again, she will heal a bit, which is unfortunate, but we also have burst, so elemental skill as expected. Uh, we play this defensively, because even if we did that, it would be six, but we're still on pyro. We have to eventually get over to Fischl here. Fischl is what we need for actually winning this. Um, so let's just mess with him a bit and do this. Gave us a Dendro, and then we just swap the Fischl. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. They can't heal past that eight with just the uh, artifact, so they need some other healing. They are again going to go for the skill. Okay. They do have the burst here. Um, that's going to be mighty annoying. But will they go for the burst? That's the question. Will they end up going for the burst? If we keep swapping back... Um, I'm just gonna swap to her. If they try to push me, they just push me right back into her. It's no big deal. Normal attack. Okay. I mean, that's five right there if we did that. Um, that would be six, which would theoretically be lethal. Yeah, they realize it's lethal no matter what here. Okay, looks like we've got ourselves an electro charge kind of thing going on here. Lots of summons, probably gonna go for bursts with Oceanid. So we'll have to see what's going on with that. Uh, are they gonna start with Raiden or what? This is pretty good, but I might not want 
that. Um, we might want to try to get some of our cheaper food out. Pizza isn't bad. Okay, well, and now we aren't getting much of any food out. Time to get down to business. Yeah, they are gonna go for the oceaned opening first here. Honestly, Vonarana could have been pretty nice here too. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. We'll keep the Electra. That is pretty good for our opening. Ooh, yeah, this is looking pretty good for an opening here for us. They're playing Vonarana immediately. Interesting. In the image of the wilderness. Okay, so they're gonna try to stack a lot of this for Buckle later up. here. Going official again. Surprising they aren't gonna try to use more in terms of bursts here. In the name of the princess, in. Oh, Elemental skill. Myself. Yep. Ow. Okay, so they'll likely end first here. I summon thee. Depending on where they go, they might get overloaded. They do end first. I'm quite happy about that because that means we don't get immediately electrocharged. So I am fine with that. Now we're going to play this and draw some... Not the food that we wanted. Ow. Boom. Now we start getting this popping in. Electro's there. Okay, there's a little better. We got some of the cheaper food. I guess maybe I should have kept the pizza. We got a lot of stuff for burst, so if we play around that, that might be pretty good. Uh, I don't think I want any of this. I probably want to just go to Nahida at this point. Uh, game's telling me otherwise, but we'll see what we do with it. Let's see if maybe he can get us something. They're probably going to try to go Myriad here. In nope, the they didn't have it. The wilderness. But they are building towards bursts, which is naturally a bit concerning here. Um, so we are going to have to be a bit careful with that. We could also always toss up. This might be a toss up moment, really. Because I don't want pretty much any of these at this point. I really just want to get that uh, Dendro out. And there we go. About everything that we could ask for is right here. I'll keep the extra Electro. Again, Vonarana would be really nice to have, so playing some of this stuff down maybe will be helpful. Free swap. Who are they going to for that? We'll use Sue, so maybe Raiden. They are going to go Raiden. That's fine. They won't have a whole lot else that they can do there. Uh, do we want to big hee hee this or small hee hee this? We might small hee hee this to get the burning going potentially, but then we're not like playing any of this. Uh, it might still be the smarter choice here because we are going to take a hefty amount coming in and maybe we want that just simply due to... Maybe we don't care. Maybe that's not that big of a deal just due to how much we're going to heal in the long run. So maybe this isn't an issue. Hey. After all, we have the opportunity to go big anyways. They might just normal attack even. Shine nope, they are going to go elemental skills. So they're going to try to go for the double electro setup here. Uh, that's fine. We can start getting heals and stuff going. We could theoretically even burst potential. Again, Vonarana would be nice here, but I think we will... We will wait on that, potentially. Um, yeah. We'll just let it, let it sit. Because they're probably going to let it sit and go for bursts. They've got the two dice. Now, they're going to play that. Interesting. That's not going to be too big of a deal for us. Piercing will go through it anyways. I'm fine with them wasting that there for one. Because that would only do two there. Plus, once the piercing hits, it's going to do one anyways. Yep. There's the piercing. Hits everyone there. Uh, 
This would be a good time potentially to draw the butter crab. Ow. 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 There's butter crab. So, let's see. They could have multiple different ways of bursting here. Um, I mean, we could always burst, too. We've got the means, theoretically, to do it. Uh, I'm going to get off of that. Eh. If we did burst, that would be lethal. Uh, we would just need the stuff for it, and I might just do that anyways. Um, just to stop them from getting all of the energy in the world. And then we just go for another reroll here. Not optimal that we're doing all of these rerolls, but... Or maybe I just sack one of these, because, like, what's the odds that we're getting that out here? We are going to end up taking energy, which I don't like, but... Yeah, I think this is going to be smarter in the long run here. And then if we do something like this, then we don't have... Well, I mean, are they really going to be able to kill maybe with that? But then that puts us at, what, se technically 7 with the damage reduction. I don't think they're going to be able to kill through this, but I'm going to just be sure. We get a pizza, so we can put that on Dea. Um, and that as well. This kills off the Raiden. And now we can get her out. By royal decree. Elemental skill. Cool. We're fine with that. They're gonna start trying to probably go for bursts again. Um, yeah, it's no big deal. Once we get in my hands. her out, it'll be alright. In fact, we might actually put this on herds to keep her alive, because she's going to take a bit of a... a bit of there. It's a bit of damage. Okay, they're going to start playing defensively. Normal attack. Ow. Yeah, they are going to try to go for some kind of burst setup here. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna put that on her, and then probably... I don't know if the Butter Crab's gonna be that important, because they got the burst for it. Um, and the Piercing is gonna do stuff, so I don't know if we need the Butter Crab in this case. Okay, they're going to end on that. I mean, I'll let her. That's fine, because she's probably dead there. Ow. I mean, yeah, she's going to heal the one, but she's going to take a lot. Oh, we got the one. I forgot the piercing's not on. So they are going to try to go for Water too. the double burst kill there. But now that's there, and then this kills, so then they can't get it. And so now it's just oceaned. Once again. Okay, got none of that. Now it's just a matter of we gotta keep people alive here. We gotta actually do damage. Uh, and I think Dea Summon is gonna be the thing here. We're gonna try to play very defensively. I don't think we need fish, unless they have send-off. Oz is going to be critical here. Unless they have send-off, I don't think we need to worry too much. We do need better dice rolls, though. So what is their play? Summons into burst. We don't want that. They summon into burst. We swap to someone else. We just have to get this out and, and go for it. They are going to try to go for bursts. One shall that is going to be a problem. Once again. And that'll do like six, so that's annoying. Time to broaden the horizons again. Uh, we are gonna reroll this. Try to get something on down there. That'll work. We don't need this though. We do want pyro if we can get it. Yeah, that do 
Three. I mean, if they kill and then we hit, that could work. Um, so this could be, this could be interesting. Um, there's also the pizza or this that we could, I think if we five, we'll be fine here. And then we pretty much set them up for lethal. Because if they kill, okay, they did the send off. That's annoying. But we can sack everything for Dea if we need to, or just normal attack Dea. Or just normal attack, anyways. So if they're gonna do something, let's do it. Form is ever changing. Oh, we can't get over there, actually. Hmm. Oh, well, this is fine. Never mind. Worrying over nothing. There we go. Committed to memory. Water will never disappear. Pretty close, but there we go. So, overall, this deck gets a competitive rating of A. It tends to be fairly flexible, with multiple reaction opportunities and combos. Most of these result in high end phase summon damage and disruption to the opponent's overall game plan, while also being fairly easy to set up. With both Dea and the deck's focus on food, it tends to be able to weather the opponent's maze phase damage and hold out until it can strike back in the end phase. However, it loses points for generally having low main phase damage outside of its bursts, leaving it to be susceptible to send off interrupting its combos. Alternative versions of this deck that focus more on main phase damage could replace Fischl and the Adeptus Temptations with Ketsing and Tendori Chase. Chicken, or replace Fischl and the Adeptus Temptations with the Electro Hypostasis and its skill cards. Regardless of version though, its additional dependency on the NRE or Chef Mao to maximize its full potential can also be a hindering factor if they don't show up early in the game. However, despite this, this deck can still hold its own against a wide variety of both meta and non-meta decks. If you enjoyed this deck and video, feel free to leave a comment below. Click the video here for more Genshin TCG content, and see you next time.